Leon for eTech TV and I'm here with Johan from Telcom Do Gaming League and this year of course as you know they did the, the entire tournament and it was a great success uh, there was a whole bunch of teams and I'm gonna ask him um, basically what is your forward outlook for the future of SA Esports and um, how do you think Telcom and Do Gaming can contribute to that and what can we be excited about you being part of? Absolutely well this has been a fantastic year for the Do Gaming League we had tremendous growth again um, year on year with the league has grown tremendously. We went from 4,200 people playing in consecutive matches. Uh, from last year, this year we had 5,700 people playing every week. And um, this just is where everyone gets together. The top teams come and they play here. And this year we've seen with the streaming, to us, this is the, the future. Turn out the first 10 pillars, but this is the prize package for them. They win themselves some quick fire rapid eye keyboards, some Cyrus headsets, Liza mice, 5 Alienware X51 PC, and 23,000 Rand in cash. Make some noise for Energy E4! The champion of Call, Call of Duty goes on PC, Energy E4. There you go, that's not the anywhere. Looks like, did we say five? Sorry guys, we went one for five of you. No, I'm kidding, there's five machines for you guys. Congratulations, make some noise for the winners on Call of Duty Dogs on PC. Energy Esports, the top dogs, 2014. Uh, so I'm here with Swissy Rafael from Energy Esports. They won uh, the Call of Duty. 2004 uh, DGL competition and um, just tell me some of the challenges you faced um, and how you feel about the win. I uh, feel fantastic about the win. We've worked very very hard to get where we are. Um, the road up to it was actually quite easy. Up to the final it was a hard game. We had to play five maps against our upcoming up runners DVD. By far our biggest challenge of the whole tournament, but they played well and we came out on top. Great man, thanks, congratulations. Razor Black Widow Ultimate Keyboard, Razor Goliathus Medium Mouse Pad, 5x Alienware X51 PC and 5,000 Rand in cash. Feeling very good right now, our energy is more. Congratulations guys! Make some noise! So I'm here with Alex from Energy Esports and they won the uh, League of Legends tournament as well. Uh, Alex, how do you feel and um, how was the build up to your one? No, I'm pretty amped. It's been a really, really long and tiring year. Um, this was our second year. We're well, third year winning it right now, so there was quite a lot of pressure coming into it. A lot of the teams have upped their game quite a lot, but our sponsors gave us an amazing boot camp. Got to give a big shout out to IS Gaming and obviously Energy Cast did an amazing amount of work. So really, we were really, really prepared when we got you. Great, man. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. And the team that's going to take it all. The top dogs in Counter Strike Global Events to make some noise for Bravado Gaming! So I'm here with Andreas from 
Counter-Strike from Bravado, they won the CS DGL, and uh, how do you feel about the win? Uh, fantastic, man. I mean, we came here this year to defend our title from last year, and we really practiced hard, and, you know, the competition was tough, but we managed to pull through and defend our title. Great, congratulations, fantastic. man. Thanks a lot, man. Cool, cool. Okay. All right, see you soon. Okay, the first place, yep. This team is away with uh, MSI Nine thousand rand in cash. The top place team for DCC 2014 in Battlefield 4. Make some noise for Aperture Gaming. Aperture Gaming, the top team in this year's Battlefield 4 pool over that side. Hashtag start on that side. Congratulations, the team walking away with MSI GEC gaming laptop and 9,000 Rand in cash plus their trophy. Uh, so I'm here with Alpha Reggie from Aperture Gaming. They won this year's Battlefield 4 DGL tournament. You're going to tell us some of the challenges that we went through and how they feel about the win. Yeah. Yeah, it was an awesome game. Guys pulled through, everyone performed as they should have, and it was really just awesome. Great deal. Thanks. And um, how was the last match for you? Uh, I mean, because there were quite a few upsets in the Battlefield 4. It wasn't uh, what anyone expected. Um, so, uh, I mean, how was that last match? I think we made it exciting for the people to watch. Uh, we pulled it through to a fourth map, fifth map. It was, really, it was a really good game. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. This next fight package is for the number one team. Steel Series Wireless H headset, Steel Series QZ King heavy mouse pad, plus 72,000 rand on top of all of that. The top team and walking away with a ton of swag. Make some noise for Bravado Gaming! Well done, Bravado Gaming. Clearly. Winning is a habit. You can just screw it. I thought out the name more than one occasion this afternoon. And yet again, when it comes to this, Dota 2, the battle gaming, the top oh, team. Hey, hey. And a ton of awesome prizes for them. Congratulations, guys. All right, I'm here with Scant or Anthony from Dota 2 Bravado. Um, they won this year's DGL and he's going to tell us a bit how they feel and how was the run-up to the win. Uh, it feels great. I, find, I mean, last year I came here, we came second. It was crushing. Um, this year there have been a lot of changes, people moving around teams. In the end, we, we got the team we got. I mean, Bravado got two teams. We had one team in this tournament. And we came into the tournament a little bit shaky. We hadn't been doing so well in our practice, but we did really well in the tournament. So we only dropped one game. and. Very convincing finals, so Great, really, really good. And uh, is there anything um, you're planning for the future, Ed? Are you going to go back and practice and come back with a hard hit and perhaps some other tournaments? Yeah, I mean, always looking for new tournaments. Uh, the aim is always to try and find tournaments overseas. The other Bravado Dota team is actually going to Taiwan in November um, to the MSI events. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully we can go to one of those too soon. Otherwise, I'm hearing something about another DGL tournament next year, so yeah. All right. Cool. Great, man. Thanks a lot. That was Scan from uh, Bravado, and um, congratulations. Thanks.